gonna be a full-blown noise making bloody what to do car hey guys welcome back to another video on this episode i'm going to be doing a rundown of the plans for the r32 if you like the video please hit the like button drop a comment in the comment section below and if you haven't already make sure you hit subscribe Tell me is it wake up in the air, rappers scattered off the gear I can map him, get yeah, the air, it's like a tracker, get distracted Send him back like in the mail, not a fraction of them real Catch him lacking, run the drill, run. running through the shit like a motherfucking day Alright, so I've just played around with the settings on this camera And I'm, I'm doing 50 frames per second So I'm stepping up in the world So enjoy that, it looks heaps cool Like, whoa, that's pretty cool Um, so, this episode all about the 32. I know you guys have been really wanting to hear about it. Um, everyone's been commenting saying, hey, um, or sending me DMs saying, hey, what's going on with the 32? Just keep sitting there and like give us some action. So basically, I've been waiting on a couple of things for the 32. I have been waiting on this hoist to be finished. Me and dad have almost got it done. Um, and then also a sponsorship deal with a company. So that's being finalized. And then I'm going to start working on it because obviously, like, it's going to cost a lot to get this car done and I'm not making any money off YouTube and COVID, so yeah. Um, but basically, it's gonna happen, don't worry about it. And this hoist, I wanted to get that done first so that um, like I can work on this car and then I can just stay on the hoist and then I've still got the other hoist for my other two cars. So basically, it came as a three-phase um, hoist. So it came with this setup here, all this jazz. And I bought this 240 motor um, second hand and I've set it all up and then it goes up now, which is sweet, it goes up fine, but it doesn't go down because there's a solenoid that goes on here that is probably thought faulty. So I'm going to fix that and then it'll be fine, but I can still work on it at the moment because I've got to that stage. So that's done. Um, and the hoist works and it's freaking sick and there's heaps of room on each side. It's a lot bigger than the other hoist So yeah, it's, it's massive And it's also a clear floor hoist. So there's nothing on the ground, which is sick So that's first thing hoist good um, So yeah, obviously as you can see we've pulled the RB20 out and the RB20 made its way to Marcus and he's going to be putting that in his BMW, the Bimwa. You can check all that out on his channel. Um, the engine that's going in this car is going to be sick. So basically, I'm keeping it RB, staying Nissan on this one, not LS. And I've bought an RB30 block, which you may have seen me show on the channel before. So this is an RB30 block that um, is a 3 litre RB. And... Everything's slightly better. Um, they've upgraded a few things on here from the RB21. So I'm basically keeping it pretty stock for now. And I'm not going full crazy forged or anything like that because I just really can't afford it. Um, but it's going to be the RB30 block and RB26 head off the GTR, which is going to be absolutely sick. Um, yeah, that's... I was going to go RB25 head, and then I thought, since I'm doing a Frankenstein, I might as well go all the way and go RB26. Like it's, I'm almost there, I might as well do it. So that's going to be wild. I'm going to have um, a small or a mild cam in it. I'm going to have um, all the add-ons, the bells and whistles and things that you need to support about 500 horsepower. Um, it'll probably make be able to make more than that, but I'm not too worried about having high horsepower I'm more wanting response and also torque as well but that's what I was missing in the 180 and it'll be really nice to get that out of this build so the turbo off the 180 which is a slightly bigger um, turbo than most people run is a GTX 35 that turbo is going to come off the 180 and onto this engine because the RB30 um, the three litre bottom end is going to make more torque and it's going to get on boost sooner because um, obviously in the 180 I had um, issues getting on boost and then I'm going to put the other turbo that I recently bought which is a GTX 30 I'll just show you that now which is this one here onto the 180 which is going to be wicked because this little bit bad boy 
um, gets on boost way sooner and it's a gen 2 so pretty keen for that on the 180 um, not sure when that's gonna happen so that's the engine um, you'll see way more on the engine in depth because dad and myself are gonna assemble it or attempt to he's done his car before with his 300 ZX we still haven't started yet so we don't know how good he done of a job but um, I have faith um, but obviously I'll we'll be taking the head and the block to the machine shop I'm most likely going to take it to a Rundle cylinder heads if you have someone else that you recommend then yeah definitely let me know but they're pretty close to me I'm going to take it to them they'll skim the block and inspect everything make sure it's all good and then me and dad are going to assemble it all and then drop the engine in here before we do that, I'm going to cut out these guards and tub the front end as big as possible to give as much clearance um, for wheels. And that will be the first job in the engine bay. Also going to remove all, everything, take everything out. I'm going to strip the whole car back so that it's bare shell. I'm going to paint the engine bay. Not sure on colours yet. I have to, I've been thinking about going on to like... Um, Xbox, I got the Forza game or Need for Speed game and I was going to create this car exactly how I want it and then I have like a perfect goal. So I'm going to paint the engine bay a colour and I'm going to weld off all the holes so it's all smoothed out. Like I know this, this is going to be a dedicated track car but I do want it to look really nice. I'm, I like things to look really nice even though they're going to get thrashed. But um, yeah, I'm going to strip out everything and then that's pretty much the engine bay sort of wrapped up um, i'm gonna have four angle mods i'm gonna be doing the cut and shut knuckles which is when you just um you cut out a section of the knuckle and then rejoin it and weld it obviously i'm not going to weld it because it will obviously snap um but <laughs> but i'll get those done and then lower control arms different i'll probably recondition the steering rack because of all the problems i've had in the 181 and we'll get a second hand one either way that's pretty much it for the lock kit for now in the future once i get better i'll be upgrading to the wise fab but i want to i've been told by dane and a couple other boys that it's best to learn without wise fab first so that i don't rely on it and i can learn how to drift properly first so that's what's happening with the lock um angle mods Obviously, going to put a bigger brake kit on here, probably the DBA one, same as on my 180. Um, the discs and just the R33 calipers with um, good pads and probably do the bearings and things. Um, with the wheels, I'm pretty much going to try on the wheels that I have already from the 180 there and decide if they're good enough or if I want to change them. Because obviously the front wheels will pretty much stay the same when I'm drifting all the time. But the back wheels, they'll change. So it's not really too much um, worth getting too worried about wheels on this because they're going to change all the time. So for the body kit, I'm going to try and make it look GTR as possible. So fat rear GTR guards on the back. I'm going to cut all this out. Um, it already has... A bit of rust in here anyway so I won't feel too bad about cutting it out but I'm gonna try and get as much clearance out of that and then just the fiberglass over fender on top some GTR side skirts and GTR front quarter panels I don't know if I really want to put fiberglass quarter panels on here because of all the issues I've had with the 180 they just crack and it's shit so I might try and roll these guards first because they're still the, the metal um, stock metal guards so I might try and pump them out as much as possible and see how much that gives me first. Um, and then the GTR rear bumper bar on these. Like, I just love GTR, so I want to make it look like a GTR. And then with the paint, haven't decided yet. Haven't decided to paint. Um, but yeah, interior is going to be stripped out. Going to have a roll cage in here and probably some Sparco seats because I love the ones that are in my 180. I was thinking about taking all the glass out um, just for the weight factor and safety as well because it's not really that great if you crash. Taking all the glass out and putting purse packs in. I was considering putting a radiator in the boot 
um, but not 100% if I'm going to do that just yet, but I may, I may not. Going to have a hydro handbrake set up, not this jazz, a nice st nardy steering wheel, probably um, take out the cluster and run like a tablet or an iPad or something like that, um, and a Haltech, definitely be running a Haltech ECU, but yeah, all this is going to go, and... It'll be a full track car with a roll cage in here. Not sure what this switch does, but it's still got that like dirty as smell in here from like Japanese cigarettes. So that's pretty much like everything that I'm gonna do, um, other than in the boot. That's locked. Um, in the boot, I'm going to be running a fuel cell with a surge tank and a couple of extra pumps just to get enough fuel there because you never want to run out of fuel. It's always a pain in the ass if you're on the dyno and the tuner says, oh, we ran out of fuel. That sucks. So I hate that. So I'll overkill pretty much everything on this car so that I can progress my drifting skills. And like the S13 is fun to drift with, but it's it's sort of like it's sort of like a cheat car. Like, it's really easy, even though I'm not, like, professional at drifting that car, but it is a lot easier than a turbo car, and it's really good to learn in. Like, I love it, and it's freaking awesome. I always have fun in it, but um, I'm missing the boost noises. I want the boost noises back, and the clutch kicks and everything, so that's what this is going to be. It's going to be a full-blown, noise-making, bloody what the do car, and... I cannot wait. One other thing is exhaust system. I'm gonna run a real fat ass one, make it as loud as possible. Make all the noises and make all the smells. Obviously E85 has to be E85. But yeah, put on a couple of cool stickers on here. Maybe like a Nolan Industries banner on the front. I don't know, but if you guys have any ideas on what you wanna see on the car, definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, a lot of people have already told me what they want to see and there's some cool ideas. So, yeah, please feel free to let me know and I'll take it into consideration. The gearbox for this, I'm going to be running the RB25 gearbox because I've already got one here that's got the blown third gear in it. And I don't want it to be a stock 25 because it's just going to blow again. And, you know, I just have to keep fixing it. So I'm looking at different gear sets to put in there. They're bloody expensive. So I'll probably go with like speed tech because it's affordable, but I haven't fully decided because um, Dane was telling me how good his speed tech gearbox was, but yeah, it's blown. <laughs> that dude and gearboxes don't go together. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this. Next episode hopefully is me stripping everything out um, but yeah, definitely look forward to seeing a heap of action of the 32 because I really want to drive it. I was hoping to get it done for Matsuri, but I just didn't have time and money. So it'll probably have to wait a little bit longer, but it shouldn't be too far off for this beast of a car. This is, this 32 is literally my dream car, like way more rather have this built than like a Ferrari or a Porsche or something like that. This is like my dream car that I've always wanted and I'm so glad that I have it. it just sitting here is like a tease because it's got so much potential. But once it's done, it's going to be sick. And yeah, this is like, this hoist is dedicated to the 32. It gets its own private hoist because it's that much of a special car to me. <laughs> I'm also thinking about painting this hoist as well. I'm not sure what color though, but it would be nice to paint it. But yeah, um, I'm just going to do a little montage of different angles of the car and it'll be like a before shot so we can look back at this video and then see what the car looked like and then once it's done, we can look at that and be like, holy shit. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Just a little update and um, yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button and drop a comment. I really do appreciate it and yeah, um, I hope you're loving the 50 frames per second because it's looking pretty wild right now. Um, yeah. Pulling up, pulling up, shut it down when I'm pulling up. Come around when I'm pulling up, in my town and I'm pulling up. Ready for anything, anyone, know that I.
get it done In the bands, I be pulling up Tell your friends, cause I'm pulling up Ready or not, I be pulling up Remember they said I'm not good enough I took all the energy, turned it to greatness Now look at my life, man, it's looking amazing I'm ready for anything, anyone I've been so ready for everything I've become When I was stuck, I had no other option Believed in myself when the shit wasn't popping I got it like that, who you know got it like that Who you know getting degrees and they rapping Like they got diplomas and rap Made it this far and I still got a lot to accomplish In fact, and I know they believe it I'm talking arenas from LA to Sweden I never stop winning, I feel undefeated